وجال معذر من العراب ناؤ دیر ور ٹو ٹائپس آف منافقین اپ ٹل ناؤ دی منافقین آف مدینہ ہیو بین ڈسکسڈ ناؤ اے مینشن از بینگ میڈ آف دی منافقین فرام دی فرام امنگ دی عراب فرام دی بیڈوئنز وجال معذرون من العراب ليوزن له وقاد الذين كفروا كذب الله ورسوله and also those of the munafiqeen came you to you wajal muazzirun min al arab from among the desert arabs also people came to beg for permission and leave not to go on this expedition liyuzna lahum wa qad alladhina kadhabu allah wa rasula and they also held back and they just lied to allah and his messenger so you see alladhina kafaru minhum adabun alim very soon to them to those of them who have really committed kufr although not legal kufr real kufr for them there will be a very painful torment less on the dhafa wala ala al marwa wala ala alladhina la yajiduna ma yunfiquna harajan iz nasahu lillah wa rasuli there's no blame haraj blame there is no blame on the weak or the sick or or those who don't have anything to spend because they have to go to tabuk they need some some animal to ride some camel something of this sort two or three at least they can join together in one camel but they have to have some camel but they don't have any resources so these are the three conditions لَيْسَ عَلَى الضُّعَفَاء وَلَا عَلَى الْمَرْضَى No blame on the weak. Someone is too old to go. Okay? He is exempted. He is too old. Or someone is sick. Although he is young, but he is sick. وَلَا عَلَى الَّذِينَ لَا يَجِدُونَ مَا يُنْفِقُونَ حَرَجٌ إِذَا نَسَحُوا لِلَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ So long as they are sincere to Allah and His Messenger. Allah knows it. The battle is with Allah and He knows it. Who is sincere and who is telling a lie? Who is making lame excuses? وَمَعَلَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ مِنْ سَبِيلٍ Over such muhsineen, good doers, people who have their Islam in a beautiful way, who have reached that level of Islam, on them there is no way of blame. وَاللَّهُ غَفُرُ الرَّحِيمُ And verily Allah is forgiving, merciful. وَلَا عَلَى الَّذِينَ إِذَا مَا طَوْكَ لِتَحْمِلَهُمْ In the same way, there's no blame on those who came to you so that you, you should mount them, you should provide them some, some animal to ride. قُلْتَ When they came to you with this request, that I'm ready to go. I'm not sick. I'm fit. I'm ready to go. But please arrange, you know, some convenience. قُلْتَ لَا عَجِدُ مَا أَحْمِلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ And you said, I don't find anything on which I can mount you. Tawallahu wa'ayunuhum tuhfidu min ad-dam. They returned back and their eyes were overflowing with tears. Hazanan Allah yajidu ma'ayun sikhoon. Due to the grief that they don't have what they can spend. They don't have the resources. So these people, there's no blame. إِنَّمَا السَّبِيلُ عَلَى الَّذِينَ يَسْتَعْدِنُوكَ وَهُمْ أَغْنِيَا All the blame is to come to those people who beg your permission and leave not to go with you. And they are, while they are rich, they are resourceful, they have everything. They can arrange the rations, they can arrange conveyance. رَضُوا بِأَنْ يَكُونُ مَعَ الْخَوَالِفِ They were happy. They preferred it, they loved it. To be with those women who who were left behind, who held back. Wa taba Allahu ala qulubin. Again the same words, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has put a set a seal on their hearts. From la yalamun. Now they don't have the real knowledge. They are worldly wise, but this is not the real wisdom. The real wisdom is of person who knows that the real life is the life of the hereafter. They are worldly wise, very cunning. They can earn and they can see, they can deceive and they can do this. Everything, they are very worldly wise. But the real knowledge they don't have. 
یا تذرون الیکم اذا رجعتم الیہم دے ار پریزنٹنگ देयर ایکسکیوزز وین یو ہیو ریٹرن ٹو دیم ناؤ دس از ان پلورل بیکاز دیز پیپل ہیڈ ٹو پلیز देयर برادر مسلم یو نو مومنین بیکاز ناؤ دی مومنز دی تری مومنز دی ہیڈ ناؤ نون دیٹ دیز پیپل دے ار دے ڈنٹ گو اینڈ دے نیو ایٹ that the excuses they presented were lame baseless so now they had to go to them also oh no no please don't be mistaken please don't doubt our sincerity actually you don't know this was the problem with me this was the problem with me and that was the hindrance ya tadruna ilaykum iza rajatum ilayhim qul la tatadru lan nu'mina lakum qad nabbana Allah min akhbarikum Oh Muslims, you tell them plainly, although they might be your friends or relatives or so on, tell them plainly, we are not going to believe in you. Because Allah has already informed us of your news. These, you know, ayat have been revealed. Now everything had been, you know, made clear for us. Now we can see through your game. So we are not going to believe in you. بس یا اللہ عملکم بٹ اوکے ناؤ ان فیوچر ان دی ان دی ٹائمس ٹو کم اللہ ول سی یور ڈیڈس وٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ وا رسول ہو اینڈ ہز ہز میسنجر آلسو ڈونٹ کم ٹو ایس یو ہیو ٹو پلیز دی میسنجر آف اللہ اینڈ یو ہیو ٹو پلیز اللہ بس یا اللہ عملکم وا رسول ہو ثم تردون الى عالم الغیب والشہادہ اینڈ دین یو ول بی ریٹرنڈ ٹو ہم ہو از دی نور اف آل the seen and the unseen that is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fa yunabbihukum bima kuntum ta'malun and he will inform you fully of what you had been doing sayahlifuna billahi lakum idha qalabtum ilayhim lituridu anhum very soon they will swear by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before you when you return to them lituridu anhum so that you just ignore them you leave them alone You don't bring them to task. You don't boycott them. They will love what they will like. Faridu anum. Okay, O Muslims. You just leave them alone. You just ignore them. Inna hum rich sun. They are wicked, wretched material. It's better to turn your faces from it. Wama wa hum jahannam. And they are abode. is the hell jazam bima kanu yaksibun and it will be the recompense for what they had been earning yahlifuna lakum li tardaw anhum oh muslims they are swearing by allah before you so that you become pleased with them you don't remain angry with them you don't hate them you don't boycott them yahlifuna lakum li tardaw anhum fa in tardaw anhum now listen If you get pleased with them, find Allah la yarda al mukabil fasiqin. Allah is not going to be pleased with such transgressors. Al Arabu ashadu kufra manifaqa. This is a very important issue now, which is being discussed. And please note it here, because regarding the misinterpretation of an ayah which is to follow, I have to refer to this ayah. Al Arabu ashadu kufra manifaqa. these bedouins these wandering arabs the desert arabs you know two types of people were there settled in cities makka madina yasrab as was called before hijra taif yambo jadda these were the cities but you know most of the people you know they were the desert arabs so al arab ashadd kufran wa nifaqa these you know arab these bedouins they are hardest in disbelief as well as hypocrisy why it will come become clear wa aqdaru allah ya'lamu hudud ma anzal allah and more likely not to know the limits of that which allah has revealed to his messenger ala rasulihi wallahu alimul hakim and verily allah is all knowing all wise why actually because they didn't have time to spend with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the muslims at madina 
they had time they prayed with him they had the companionship so the, actually they were listening listening to his friday sermons every week and on additional occasions then different time they were coming and meeting him and seeing him so actually this influence you know this baraka of the presence of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this bliss of the sohbah of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that was more available to people who were living in madina and these people you know they embraced islam but they were living in desert far away so they only sometimes it happened that they visited madina and they saw the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and availed of his presence but you know the degree was different wa min al arab man yattakhidhu ma yunfiqu maghraban wa yatarabbasu bikum al dawair and among these desert arabs there are people who take what they have to spend as fine if they were made to pay zakah oh, okay but they took it as a fine because real belief real iman was not there they had to do it because now they had embraced islam they had to pay the zakah but they thought you know just you know, their emotions you know their sentiments were as if paying some fine wa yatarabbasu bikum ad-dawair they are waiting for some turn of events over you there may there may come a turn of events and you muslims may be defeated by some other other force and then we are relieved of this fine you know which we have to pay every year alayhim da'iratu as-saw on them will be the evil turning of events there will be a turning of fortunes and turning of events but it will be evil for them glory is to come to allah and his messenger and islam walillahi al-'izzatu wa lirasulihi wa lilmu'minin walakin al-munafiqin la ya'lamun wallahu samiun alim and allah is all hearing all knowing wa min al-'arabi but they are not all the arabs the all the desert arabs are not of that type wa min al-'arabi man yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir they are half among them those who believe in allah have full faith full iman in allah and the last day wa yattakhidhu ma yunfiqu qurabatin inda allah and he whatever he has to spend he takes them as if it is the means of getting nearer and nearer to allah so they spend heartily willingly because these things you know these arms and charities and this zakah and this sadaqat will you know bring us closer and closer and closer nearer to allah wa salawat ar rasul and also they will be a mean of getting the prayers and blessings of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala innaha qurbatul lahu let it be known that this is actually a means of getting nearer and nearer of to allah all these what they are spending for the cause of allah sayud khuluhum allah fi rahmatihi very soon allah will admit them to his mercy in allah ghafurur rahim and verily allah is ghafur and rahim he is forgiving merciful